Hi everyone, welcome to My Crafty Home. I'm Amy and today we have a really fun video. I had a uh, inspiration picture that I seen online and I really loved it and I thought I could do it. So uh, unfortunately I went to the Dollar Tree to find my items and uh, lo and behold I could not find them. So I spoke to the lady at the store and she said I could go online and order them. Um, however, they don't come like one at a time, they come in bulk. So one of my items that I needed, I ordered online and they came with 24 pieces. So I needed what was called sugar bowls and this is what I got in the mail. So. Here I was wanting to do like one of these projects and I'll probably be doing 12 because you'll see I'll need two sugar bowls for each lantern. Anyways, I have not opened this really, just kind of like open the top of the box. So let's see. I don't know if we can open this. Uh, let's see. see this oh my word okay let's not do that let's do it this way because these are all gonna fall wow look at these here I was gonna do like one and now I get all of these um, so what the Dollar Tree told me is that if they needed to return uh, a few items they would swap out some other items for you know one of these here so I don't know if that's true or not but I think I'll use them everybody will be getting a lantern for Christmas <laughs> probably so here they are oh wow these are fantastic um, these are I hope no broken no so anyways these are our little sugar bowls I could not find and we need they all like in all right so these are all together well anyways these we need two of these so we need one of these and two lids I'll show you but um, they also didn't have uh, the glasses that I needed and so I opt for these. These are really cute. These have like the little edges. I don't know if you can see them, but I thought these were really cute. They're plastic. Um, then I also went to my local Goodwill store and they had these. These were really cute too. Ooh. These, these are actually glass and crystal, but these were only uh, $2. So they had three, so we'll turn them upside down. I'll show you what we'll do. This is going to be a really cute project and I hope that you'll enjoy it. Well, with all that being said, if you are enjoying some of these videos, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and let's get ready to craft. We have a lot of lanterns to make. What you'll need is a sugar bowl from the dollar store. You'll want to get a second sugar bowl, but just the lid. You just need two lids. You'll want to grab a uh, wine glass. These are plastic and they come two in a pack and they are also from the Dollar Tree. I like to use the E6000, this really helps, but I also like to use the glue gun, you know, need some cutting tools, and these here come two in a pack, and those are the tea lights, some paint brushes, and of course your paint, and don't forget, you'll want to get something fun to garnish your lantern.
Now you only need to paint just the bottom rim of your sugar bowl. Now your second lid, you don't have to worry about painting the very top of the lid. That won't be seen once you put the plastic cup over it. Now that the black ones are drying, I'm going to go ahead and try to do one in white. Also, if you're enjoying this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to get more upcoming videos. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to get six amazing tips on how to make this project a little easier. Okay, now that the black ones are all done and dried, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my E6000, a little bit here and there, and also I'm going to put a little bit of the hot glue gun, so that way it'll kind of give me more of an immediate stick. Again, I'm going to use the E6000 on the very lid of the glass, and I'm also going to put my hot glue a little bit again to give me more of an immediate stick. Now remember the E6000, the reason I'm using that is because, man, this stuff really does stick. It's awesome. Once it's on and dried, it's not going anywhere. And voila, there you go. That actually completes the lantern. Now, once that's all done, let's get ready to decorate it. Now these are cute. These are the little lantern, little tea lights. These are great. You can pop those in. I had to go twice to find these. They were a little scarce during this holiday season. Now this here is a little bit of embellishment that I'd like to put on there. Uh, I also got that at the Dollar Tree and it's called Diamond Wrap. It's six feet and I obviously don't need all of it so I'm just going to cut it to size and this is pretty forgiving. They come in like little uh, diamond pieces and if you need one or two it's really easy to apply.
And why not put a little of that diamond wrap along with the bottom of that sugar bowl? I say be as sparkly as possible. Now that the white one is completed, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the white one. But this one here, I'm going to use this beautiful beige velvet bow that I also got from the doll store. I'm just going to wrap that right around and as you'll see, I'm going to use some bells that I also found at the dollar store. Now, the little top of that bell, I don't know what happened, but it's not attached. And I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue that so that doesn't come apart. I'm up to my eyeballs in lanterns. Are they not the cutest? Well, as you can see, I've done a few and I've learned a few tips along the way. Like I said before, I have six tips that will make this project a lot easier and one of them that will make your project from a 10 to a 12 in my opinion. Let me share those six tips with you right now. Don't laugh guys, use your blow dryer, tip number one. And tip number two, make sure they're fully dried before you put on the next coat of paint. Tip number three, use a tie bow instead of hot gluing it. This I think is pretty interesting because you can go ahead, take the bow right off and you can put another season of decorations on there. You can put a bow for Easter, fall, anything you like, whereas this, it's stuck, it's there, it's a Christmas lantern. Tip number four, use hot glue protectors on your fingers. Let me tell you, this will save you from a few uh, burns. Yes, I cut a boo-boo right there. These things are hot. Tip number five, not all paint is good for glass. I found this the hard way. That's why I didn't use the glass that I showed you at the beginning. And tip number six, now this is my favorite. Here are the two lights. One is from the Dollar Tree and one is from Amazon. I think they're worth the extra money. They come with a remote control and a timer, so you don't even have to turn them on. Well, if you're interested in grabbing them, I'll put a link below on where you can get them. But they're not actually just for lanterns. I put two of these in my front window. Okay, let's go back to those lanterns and see how they can be displayed. They are beautiful. Can you believe it? These lanterns only cost about $3. And let's say it's maybe $4 for the extra bow and a couple cents for the diamond wrap. They're spectacular for the price. Well, there you have it. Beautiful lanterns for a really small price. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.